Hi everyone, CNX Soft here. What I have here is Android H2 Revision B board inside the Type 3 case. Uh, the Type 3 case is designed to have two hard drive or SSD, two, uh, 2 2.5 inch drives. I also connected a USB hard drive, gigabit Ethernet, and USB keyboard. Uh, I'm running it fanless and uh, even using CPU minor uh, the temperature never goes above 84 degrees so it's working quite well that way but if you want you can also add a fan on top but I don't think it's necessary for, for most people okay so now we are in Ubuntu 19.04 installed from in the EMC flash a 32 gigabit is EMC flash module and we have 8 gigabyte RAM installed in the system it supports up to 32 I think and we have a Celeron J4105 CPU with Intel UHD graphics 600 all right so now I'm going to do some tests I will start uh, by launching a few apps in sequence Firefox, Thunderbird, LibreOffice and GIMP okay so everything is loaded already the system is extremely responsive Let me go back to Firefox now. And start a new and go to some famous website. Okay, and let's open multi multiple tabs to see how, how the system behaves. Yeah, if you are wondering about my screen, that is perfectly normal. Those vertical lines have been with me for several years. But for testing, this is working just fine. Okay, one more. Okay, let's switch between tabs. Scroll down. This one is a long review, just posted this morning and everything loads fast and scrolling is working, it's smooth. Okay, let me try YouTube now. So, uh, first, you'll notice, hopefully, on the top right side, I've installed H.264 iFi. This is to make sure the system will play H.264 video instead of VP9, because VP9 will be a little slow. So let me try one of the, maybe 4K videos. Okay, stat for nerds. And here we can see he's playing AV01.
Is bleeding everyone? No. Okay, and this one has no drop frames. Let's see if we can go higher. Okay, for some reasons I'm stuck to 720p. Ah yes, uh, one consequence of using uh, this, this uh, plugin, H.264iFi, is that we lose the ability to play 4K videos. But that's not a big problem. I mean, lose ability in the web browser. Uh, but it's not a big problem uh, because uh, they, won't, they will not play uh, smoothly anyway. But 1080p should be there for us. Okay, fair enough. So let's switch to Chrome. Okay, it's quite possible YouTube has changed something on the default to AV1. Okay, and this one we are at 4K because I haven't installed the plugin. Oh yeah, I don't remember this. No. Okay, let's just get rid of it. <laughs> and Okay, we can see it's using VP9 now, 4K resolution, 30 frames per second, uh, but we've got a few dropped frames. It's buffering fine, but it will still uh, not be playable. However, if we switch to 1440, There's no such problem with VP9. Okay, 1440p is just fine. Just uh, we had some drop fun at the beginning, but it happens. And once it's up and running, no problem. Okay, let me quit. Chrome and back to Firefox. Let's go to Facebook. Can I play some games there? I uh, will play Candy Crush. Okay, I don't know why it's such a simple game will always take a lot of time to load, but that's what it is.
Maybe I won't sit there. Obviously. It will work fairly well. Except the audio will cut when loading the game but while playing. Everything is just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try some uh, WebGL games. Uh, okay, so Quake. We have some Quake HTML5, I think. I cannot remember which one works. Let's try this one. Okay, and again, here it will be a game of patience. Because it may take a while to load. Okay, it's playing. Usually I'm alone. So we can see it's the, not the highest frame rate. I just 14, 15 frames per second. One more uh, WebGL thing is uh, Aquarium. Must be this one. Alright, that's with 500 fish, and the frame rate is about 12, 13. But at least it loads. In some ARM platform it may not load at all, but here it's manageable. Okay, next I will play uh, videos in VLC. Let's go to 4K videos all the way. So let's start with H.264 at 30 frames per second. Problem. Oops. Let's try sixty frames per second. It also looks good. Let's try 10-bit H.265 again 4K. All videos will be 4K. Oh, no. 
okay, just one small incident, but after it's okay. I'm playing this from the USB 3 drive. And VP9. Wow. <laughs> That's very good. I, because I, I played this video on many TV box before. And it feels much better than most of them. Much, much smoother. Okay. Last test is 10 bit H.264. This one is seldom supported except uh, for some rock chip uh, uh, SOCs. Oh, okay. Uh, I think this type of videos is not very common, uh, so it doesn't work on Intel Gemini Lake either. Okay. Uh, okay, I've played some 4K videos, but I've been uh, not a good boy because I've played a 1080p video output. So let's see if we can switch to um, 4K. Oh, we can. Let's do this. Oh, I didn't change the... Uh... Okay, I will keep the changes, but I will change the scaling, because it will, uh, it's hard to read. <laughs> That's better. And we get the right resolution. Oh, it's 24 Hz. Can we change this? Okay, so I'm connected through HDMI and it will be limited to 30 Hz. But if you use the display port, you should be able to get 4K at 60 Hz. Okay, let's go back to VLC. What's good? Let's try to go back to VLC. Okay. All right, that's challenging. So let's try a Big Puck Bunny at 30 frames per second with actual 4K video output. is not quite good. <laughs> so I'll skip the 60 frames per second because it will look very ugly. Uh, let's try the 10 bit. H.264 video. Okay, so yet again, this is not going well. There are lots of uh, drop frames. Hmm. 
more than half of the frames are dropped. Okay, let's go to VP9, is it better? And again... That's not nice. That's not smooth. Is it because of the 30 Hz? I guess... It may be... What the CPU usage? Uh, not too high, it's just... It cannot quite keep up uh, when doing 4K video output. So, okay, I'm going to stop VLC. Uh, maybe I will switch to uh, to Kodi. I haven't installed it yet, so see you soon. Okay, we are back in Kodi. Let's go H.264 at 30 frames per second and see what we've got. It's not so good. Again, it's not... You not want to watch the video here. Okay, let's go to the 60 frames per second for fun. Hardware decode. Okay, why? Okay, let's go to the options first. Because for some reason it's a twenty four hertz. Okay, I never know how to go back from here. And let's try again. It's not switching to 30 frames to 30 hertz. Why? I don't know. This could be better as well. So it's very similar to to what we got in VLC overall. Uh, some of it may be due uh, to the video output. That for some reason is 24 hertz. Even when I play 60 frames per second videos. Yeah. Let's see. 
let's go to play here as well in LibreOffice. Let's open ODT file and scroll through it. Put some text. Move the things around. Scroll down. And I want to try. For some reason, this file is a little slow as well. Let's try to open a large PDF file. This is in uh, events. This Android magazine. This one is not struggling, struggling too much. Okay, I also done some benchmarks. I will not do it in the video because it would be even more boring. <laughs> uh, so it will be in the link below, in the description, in the review on cnxsoftware.com. And that's all I will be showing today. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.